The general impression about Switzerland is that it's almost a model land, replete with food, fodder, development and happiness. Not surprising then that I am caught by surprise when I find the normally smooth and efficient public transport system disrupted by a demonstration of a sea of women. Were the women on a strike? Were they protesting? Well, yes. And what were the ladies protesting for? Equality, respect, and most importantly, equal pay. Curious and intrigued, I did a regular round of the museum uh, to educate myself about women's rights in the country and I discovered some interesting facts. For example, in 1971, when two developing countries, the then developing countries of the world, like India and Sri Lanka, had women as, as the heads of government, in Switzerland, a referendum was passed and men who were only allowed to vote, voted in favor of women being granted the right to vote. This opened the door for women to vote at the local level too. Before that, only two cantons allowed women to choose their own representatives in Switzerland in 1959. In time, the Swiss constitution incorporated the issues of gender equality and equal work and equal pay. But for these to find an impact on the lives of the people took some more time until in 1991, women from all across the country from different walks of life joined hands on the issues of slow implementation of the equality article in the constitution and the need for an equality law. Considered a key moment in Swiss history, the equality law came into force in 1996. Things bettered considerably. Switzerland is ranked in the 2018 World Economic Forum's Gender Gap Report as the 20th most gender equal country in the world and 10th in Europe. Still issues persist and till this day women continue to earn on average 15% less than men. In fact, the official Swiss statistics for 2016 shows that women working in the Swiss private sector continue to earn 19.6% less than the male counterparts. Not surprisingly, frustration grew and 14 June saw thousands of women on the streets voicing for equal pay, equal rights, equal treatment and respect. If anything, the demonstration and the protest were for me an eye-opener. And if I may say, at times, quite entertaining. Little babies, partners and husbands were there too supporting the women in voicing their concern, extending their solidarity. It gave the feel that the change desired to be ushered in was the change in the social consciousness, which would inevitably have an impact on the social fabric of the country. I walked with the women, curious, intrigued, entertained, but somewhere even felt touched by the concerns voiced by them. I smiled to myself as I walked back. Women of the world unite. You have nothing to lose but your feathers.